Hello, welcome to the shack on a wet Sunday afternoon. Today's video is to do with if you're interested in getting into digital radio, either Fusion or DMR or D Star, and a few pros and cons and how much it's going to cost you. So let's get to it. <laughs> Welcome to my shack, it's Ricky G Zero Alterex. Recently I've had uh, I've been advantageous to be able to get onto digital modes on all three modes. Uh, I'm on D Star, on DMR now and on Fusion. I've always basically had D Star through the, the ICOM D5100, which is there. Through a little hotspot which I built, which is a Pi hotspot. Uh, and then I ventured into Fusion, which was using my little FT3D handheld. Great little radio. Uh, it works great, it's got GPS and also really good all rounder VHF, UHF. And then last week I managed to get hold of one of these, an Aylands DMR set. A friend of mine was selling it. Brand spanking you, uh, and he was offering me a deal which I couldn't turn down. So I decided to buy it. I have tried DMR in the past, but never had much uh, luck with it. I always found it really difficult to set up, especially the code plugs, etc. Uh, so I've got three Raspberry Pis uh, and three modems which are plugged into the Raspberry Pi. And they operate on 70 sems, all on different frequencies, uh, all on different modes. Uh, whether or not you prefer the sound of D Star or DMR or Fusion, uh, that's entirely up to yourself. Uh, have a little listen on DMR. Back to you, sir. So it's a little DMR set. As through the internal speaker. Thank you. Okay, Bill, thanks very much for coming back to the call. My name is uh, Julian. Uh, just reprogramming a high terror radio with no display, so I'm making sure it works. So it obviously does. So it's pretty much nice and clear. Back into the shack. And uh, yeah, obviously you're sounding great. So that's the radio, uh, and that's the Pi Star dashboard that goes with it, so you can see who's using it and where they are. So it sounds pretty good. We program it for Brownmeister. It seems to be very, very busy. A nice little here, readout nice on the radio. So that's DMR. Then we have D Star, which I don't think anyone's on at the moment. Uh, I'll try changing reflectors if I can. Where are we? Uh, reflectors for D-Star. Uh, I'm just changing this in the uh, in the dashboard. Uh, trying to find somewhere else you might be able to listen to. Uh, Three zero, Charlie. Uh, don't think anyone's about on D Star, but that's the dashboard for D Star. I'll leave the volume up just in case anyone comes up. That's the dashboard. So basically, exactly the same dashboard for all three digital modes, and then we have the dashboard for YSF, which is Fusion. And that's this little radio. I'll turn the volume up just in case. I'll leave that up a second. So I'll leave the volume up for D-Star and DMR just in case anyone comes on. Uh, so the advantages and disadvantages. Uh, what well, it's going to cost you. Basically for a hotspot, uh, you need the Pi, Raspberry Pi. You can get those off eBay or Amazon. Second hand, they're around about £20 for the Raspberry Pi. And then you need the the modem that plugs into it. Now I get mine off Amazon. 
and I know people are not, you know, a bit wary about buying off Amazon, especially with the, the Chinese hats, is what they're called, but I've never had any issues with them. And my last one was about £20, and that comes with a little LED screen on top of it as well. That basically plugs into the Pi, uh, and it turns the Pi into a hotspot. On top of that, you need a little micro SD card as well, which plugs into the Raspberry Pi. They're about £5. So to get your hotspot up and running, uh, it's all about £45 for a hotspot, which is relatively cheap. And obviously an, an internet link as well, either Wi-Fi or plugged into it, an Ethernet lead. RG45. Uh, as far as the radios go, what it, it's cost you for your radio to get into this digital. A D Star radio. Uh, ICOM is generic for D Star. Uh, someone's coming up now. I don't think you can get D Star. I think, I think you can get it on Kenwoods now, but most of them are ICOMs. Uh, anywhere between 200 and 300 quid for a D Star radio. So you're probably talking 200 pounds. For a little handheld uh, radio, which will work through your hotspot, or something similar to this, the IG5100, and they range, they're usually around about £300. That's the remote head, by the way, the radio is actually mounted underneath on the other side. So you're talking £200-£300 for the D-Star radio, so all told, anywhere between 250 and £350 to get on D-Star with the hotspot. If you've got a local repeater, a local D-Star repeater, obviously you don't have to buy the hotspot. You can just buy the radio and use the RF to uh, transmit into it. So that'll save you a few quid. But I prefer the hotspot. It gives me more options. Uh, the Yesu uh, is for Fusion. I don't think they, anyone else does Fusion. Uh, the Fusion radios... This M was a, zero sorry. B J F. These uh, radios. This one cost me about one hundred and seventy-five pounds with the drop-in charger uh, and the program I'll need. Uh, so you saw one hundred and seventy-five pound plus fifty forty-five pounds for the hotspot. So just over two hundred pounds. You can go for a mobile set, which is around about two hundred and fifty quid. So you're talking. You're talking about three hundred, just over three hundred pounds for a hotspot and the, and, the, and a mobile radio, or just over two hundred pounds for the uh, handheld radio and a hotspot. And then the cheapest option is something like this, a uh, little handheld. Now these are a little bit more expensive than the cheap ones. I think these retail about one hundred and twenty nine pounds. Uh, you can buy them second hand for around about seventy eighty quid. You can get a brand new. DMR set handheld for about 50 quid off eBay and apparently they're very very good they're retrofus, ret retrofus ones or similar to that so to get on DMR uh, from scratch you're probably talking under a hundred pounds to get on DMR and uh, obviously there's plus and minuses to them all I mean the advantages of the fusion I found was it's very easy to set up, especially the radio. Basically, you put the radio on a frequency which your hotspot set up on, and you put your course on in, and then you're away. Uh, basically, you transmit into your hotspot and you can talk all over the world. Uh, very simple as well to change rooms uh, via the YS YSX uh, system, or you can just change it on the YSF dashboard like I did before. As you can see, I'm on uh, GBCQ UK C4 FM at the moment. But all you do is you, you can change that within the software. And I always found D-Star to be so much simpler. It's a little bit more difficult setting up the radio to use into a hotspot, into a repeater. I think it's easier into a hotspot. There's a little bit of programming involved to get it to work properly, which I found out. Uh, but getting onto D-Star in general and then moving around the different rooms is very, very simple. Uh, I mean, off the, the radio itself, uh, to all link a repeater. Where's my microphone gone? Basically, you 
click on link. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Trying to find my microphone. Oh, microphones, yeah. Click on that and it unlinks to the repeat it. Not linked. And then to change rooms, basically go in, pick a room you want to go to. For instance, that one. Click on that. Link to R E F zero seven nine Delta, and then go back to user repeater, and it's as simple as that. Between moving between rooms, uh, so the advantage is it's it's simpler. It's it's pretty easy to set up. Uh, the radio can be a little bit of a pain to set up. Um, for hotspot use, but if you're using through repeater, it's so much simpler. But it's easy to get round rooms. A little Hi, bit more expensive. So it's a little bit more expensive with the radio uh, to get on. I always found the quality of D-Star to be pretty good on that one. Uh, the cheapest option, obviously, is, is DMR, as you can see. Three Lima Golf Victor, Sunny Mobile, just taking TV7, Whiskey Charlie. Slow that down. And bring this back up. Two Victor Lima Papa, do you have a copy on Whiskey 9? Tango Lima Whiskey, over. So DMR is obviously the, 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 the cheapest option to get into digital radio. I found it really difficult to set up the code plugs and get the code plugs working although there's loads of information on the internet on how to do it Slow us down a bit. Uh, it was just something that i just found to be more difficult to do some people find it so simple it, you need a little bit of knowledge on how to use a computer and to set it up properly uh, but it is very very cheap to start and get you into that system. It's a little bit more difficult moving talk groups, and the, the terminology is, is a lot stranger than other uh, digital radios. Uh, but I found the last week has, has been a steep learning curve, and I've got this working uh, very, very simply, and it, it works very, very well. So you, you've got to make your own choices. Uh, DMRs are the cheapest, but not necessarily the simplest. Uh, Fusion is pretty simple to set up, probably the easiest of them all to set up, and the audio quality I think is very very good on Fusion, uh, and D-Star is probably the most expensive one to get going due to the fact of the radio, uh, but it's easier to navigate around the rooms. Obviously you can, there's other ways of listening to uh, digital, if you go online, if you do a search, you can go on all sorts of websites and you can monitor some digital transmissions before you make your choice. I mean, if you're in a lucky situation like I am, uh, and you can maybe choose two or three different sets, uh, then you can go down that route. You can use one hotspot, by the way, for all three different modes. You can use one hotspot that, that switches between the different modes. But I always found it's, it's awkward just because if you want to transmit on D-Star and someone's transmitting on DMR and they're using that part of the hotspot, then you're a bit uh, bound by what they're doing. So that's why, for the sake of buying another Raspberry Pi and another hat for, the, for 40 quid, it's, it's just, I think, or th think it's a simpler option. And also it makes it simpler to set up as well. Uh, also with DMR as well, don't forget you have to register for your ID. So I think it's radio-id you have to Google or uh, search for. You have to put your call sign in. I think you have to upload your license as well. And then within maybe 24 hours up to three days, they'll send you ID. And you need to enter your ID in the radio and also in the software uh, before it gives you access to the network. So it's a little bit more secure, sorry, a little bit more secure for DMR uh, 
Whereas with D Star, you basically just put your call sign into the radio. And with YSF, you put your call sign in the radio. And you're pretty much away straight away. So if that's been some help for you in deciding what you want to choose, uh, I find them all great. I think it's great, especially where the bands have been recently on, on HF. The, the band conditions on HF have been abysmal. Uh, and if you want a little bit of a rag chew or a little chat, uh, it's great just to get on onto digital. A lot of people say it's not real radio, but basically you're still using R. I'm still using RF to get into the hotspot and the signal's going down the internet and coming off to the side of RF somewhere. And if you're using uh, repeaters as well, repeaters you're doing the same sort of thing uh, RF into the repeater so it's still radio as far as I'm concerned and it gives you that little extra edge to the hobby ok have a nice rest of your Sunday 7-3 from Ricky G Zero as an X and we'll catch you soon <laughs>